Hello good day viewers. I would like to let you know that I am introducing a new playlist on my YouTube channel and this is with regard to how some people solve mass problems in wrong ways. And I'm thinking of either naming the playlist as don't do this or common mistakes in solving mass problems. What do you think? So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to like this video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one common mistake in solving problems like this. x plus 2 to the power of 2 equal to x squared. Why am I bringing this? I have seen a lot of teachers online telling students that they can equate the basis from left to right once they have equal exponents. That is very wrong. Though logically, if you have something squared to the other side equal to another thing squared, it literally means those things are equal. But mathematically speaking, once you equate the basis, you may end up falling in trouble. But let's start it first. Having the same exponents, we say that x plus 2 equal to x, the basis, right? So let's just try to solve for x. Bring this x inside, it becomes negative. Negative x. Take 2 to the other side, it becomes negative 2 x minus x is 0, right? And this is negative 2. So what are you solving for? Does this make any sense? No. So instead, solve it the more standard way. You can either expand this. You can expand it. Bring this one in. Simplify. Evaluate everything. Then you find the value of x. Let me show you. Um, if we like... We can expand this. That is first time squared is x squared. Then plus 2 times x times this. That will give us 4x. Then plus. This squared is 4, right? This is equal to x squared. If you subtract x squared from both sides, you have 4x plus 4 equal to what? Um, 0, right? Because we have subtracted x squared from both sides then you can take this to the other side 4x will be equal to negative 4 as it crosses over then you divide both sides by 4 you have x to be equal to negative 1 and therefore negative 1 is the valid solution x equal to negative 1 and if you like you can plug it here if x is negative 1 negative 1 plus 2 will give us 1 1 squared is 1 the negative 1 squared is 1. So left and right equal. Therefore, x equal to negative 1. Whenever I have a difference of two squares, I always like to apply that. So instead, bring this one inside. We have x plus 2 raised to the power of 2 minus x squared equal to 0. This is nothing but difference of two squares. Remember, um, a squared minus b squared this is equal to a minus b, right? Multiplied by a plus b, difference of two squares, for which a is the whole of this and b is this. So we say that this is x plus 2, that is a, minus b, that is minus x, multiplied by x plus 2, that is a, then plus x. And this is equal to 0, right? x minus x is 0, so we only have 2 here. Multiply by x plus x is 2x. Oh, sorry. Then we have plus 2. This is equal to 0. Uh, you can clearly see that if you divide both sides by 2, since 2 is multiplying this, uh, we have 2x plus 2 equal to 0. And if you, even if you like, you can expand to have 4x plus 4, all the same. That is... Um, 4x plus 4 equal to 0. If you divide both sides by 4 and take the other term to the other side, you're still going to get x equal to negative 1. So, please, whenever you have common exponents, do not equate the basis. But I assure you that you can always equate the exponents if the basis are the same. Suppose we have 2 to the power of x, uh, equal to 2 to the power of y. It implies that that x must be equal to y. You can equate the exponents 
when the bases are the same. This is one of them. Subsequently, we are going to dive into many problems like this. Bye-bye.